It's Al the Blogger. You know what time it is. Let's get it. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Al the Blogger. Welcome to my show. I'm very excited this evening. I got a very special guest with me today. She's an author, she's a singer, and she's a makeup artist right here in Phoenix. Her name is actually Phoenix too. Please give it up one time for Phoenix Marie Haley. Thank you. That's how I'm we do so it. I'm so honored to be here. Um, Actually, for people that know me, a lot of people know me. I'm well known through Phoenix. Look at you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Myron, but Phoenix Marie Haley came from, you know, my mom wanted to name me Phoenix Haley, and then she passed away, and her middle name was Marie. So I decided to just incorporate that all in one. I am not a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Oh, my God. <laughs> I repeat, I'm for not a porn star. <laughs> for some of y'all who don't know, there's a. Le a, a lady named Phoenix Marie Haley, or Phoenix Marie in the in the porn industry, but oh yeah. <laughs> you don't know how many <laughs> freaking questions I've gotten. Oh my god, I just got so that. Um, yeah, I'm so honored to be here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate I appreciate you. Um, so just for people that don't know, we um met you know via Instagram. I was going through the pictures of people. Um, I wasn't being thirsty or nothing like that. It just you know just things happen. Um, I came across her page. She had a lot of you know. Skin. What I mean by that, but she had like basically what I'm trying to say is she had a lot of beauty behind her. So um, I took notice and I thought she was cute. But I, it was business though. It wasn't strict. It was strictly professional. It wasn't nothing like I was trying to talk to her or get at her or anything like that. Matter of fact, she had a boyfriend at the, at the time anyway. So, but yeah, um, came across the page. I hit her up. I asked her what she does for a living. She says she works, but then she does this on the side. So here we are today. And um, I thank you for being on my show. I don't get this very often. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm totally honored to be here. I love sharing my craft with other people, and I love reaching out to other people. And I thought that was pretty dope. Look at you! Look at you! That's how we do it. So, Phoenix, <laughs> let's just get straight into it for the audience. We got you have your your multi talents. You have three talents, as I mentioned. You're I have Arthur. Many many talents. Yeah. These are just <laughs> like, you know. Hair about I see. Bit. There you go. <laughs> so you're an author, you're a singer, and you're a makeup artist. Yeah. Um, which one should I talk about first? Would you? Mm, anyone? Shoot. Go for it. All right. I, I, I'm just curious about the obviously the makeup since that's how uh, you know we got in contact. What What was your inspiration behind that? Honestly, I just I okay. So my sis, my younger sister, um, shaved off my eyebrows when I was like <laughs> a freshman in high school. Oh fuck. And so. <laughs> Today they have grown back. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I started like having to do my eyebrows because I didn't want to look around looking like Lord Voldemort and shit, <laughs> looking like yeah. a freaking newborn baby. <laughs> no, <laughs> I got I'm, you. I'm cool. I'm cool. Especially a freshman in high school where mm. everybody's judging you already as it is. Woo! And I had really really bad eyebrows, so wow. I like really got into doing my makeup and stuff like that. And I just it was all self taught. I didn't look at tutorials. I didn't look at any of that. It was a lot of trial error, money and blemishes and broken things. I broke a lot of stuff. <laughs> I got so angry and I'd just throw stuff and I'd be like, wow, my eyebrows look like crap. I took a Sharpie one time. Are you serious? And um, Yeah, I tried the whole like dyeing my hair thing. I went blonde. All the pictures were deleted of that. <laughs> of that phase, you know. Makeup just become really big to me because it's something that I can do to help my self-confidence as well as doing it for other women as so that way they can build up their self-confidence. That way they can feel good about themselves. I love that, and it's such an amazing feeling. Now, um, when it comes to makeup, I had a, actually, um, I only, I've only interviewed one other girl besides you, so I appreciate that. But um, what I was going to say is uh, when it comes to makeup, um, is there an extent to have too much or too little makeup? Cause you know, but that's. That's if they feel good about themselves, that's all that matters. Me personally, if ladies, I'm gonna tell you this right now. If you if you look good all natural, I mean makeup obviously is there to make you look better, but if you could look good all natural, you can I'll 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 wife you up as long as you're pretty. 
it's that's just, just like, my take. It's just like, because, like, I'm beautiful, natural, like, wild hair and all, freaking Medusa hair and everything. <laughs> my hair hella curly, but it's yeah. like, you know, I, I wear makeup to, like, enhance my features and to show other women that, you know, like, you can be beautiful naturally and you can be beautiful with a cake face. You can be beautiful with, you know, the semi cake face and it's perfectly fine. There you go. Um, I want to ask you one last question about the makeup part. Uh, are you going to have a line? Like, are you going to, are you going to start a business with it to take it, you know, take we'll it further? S- we'll see. We'll see. Um, you know, one step at a time, you know, right. tomorrow's not promised to nobody. True. Excuse me. Anyone. Oh my God. <laughs> and, <laughs> no, but, um, we'll see where it goes with that. I, I definitely want to get out there and do more women's makeup and make people feel good about themselves. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm not doing it for a profit. I'm yeah. doing it for, like, you know, kind of like myself. You I know? got you. To make myself feel good and make other women feel good. I'm going to just give you a compliment. I like the eyebrows. I like the, um, the w- I don't know what this is right here, but I, I like that. Eyebrows. I like, I, I see, there you go. Contour with the nose. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the ladies out there. Oh, okay. <laughs> the lipstick is looking nice, too. Um, mm. What y'all say? Fleek? Fleek. <laughs> Now, let's get into your singing. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay. Um, now, I, didn't, I said you were an R&B singer. Um, is that true, or do you do every type of music, as long as you're singing? Like, what would it, you consider it your... It honestly does not matter. I absolutely love all kinds of music, from Alanis Morissette to, you know, Janaeco to freaking... Who else? Like Nicki but I ain't going to eat the booty like groceries, though. Ain't nobody that was a eat joke. the booty like groceries. <laughs> you said would you like a fork and a spoon, head ass? <laughs> <laughs> right? You said Nicki Minaj and, and Rihanna, too? Yeah, Nicki Minaj is pretty okay. I like I like how she's so confident with herself. I like Rihanna a lot. Like, I like her a lot. Rihanna got that. What's that song with Drake? Wag, 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 wag. I don't even know what she said at that. It's it's um it's her natural. Or it's her, or her accent. Language. Oh, that's what she's so she's actually speaking, but yeah. you can't understand it. Yeah, that's why I think like so some people are just so ignorant because they'll be like ah. La, 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 and speaking la, of la, native, la. Uh, not language, but just native, your background for people that don't know, just so I can you know tell them up front, you're half black and half white, correct? I am, and I am a Phoenix native, which you don't see a lot of nowadays. Born here, raised here, probably gonna stay here, and that's perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, now I ain't gonna say I'm a Phoenix native, but I, she said it off camera that technically, uh, if you're if you go to high school out here, then you're considered a native, right? Yeah, <laughs> I got you. That's how it is. I mean, so Nicki Minaj, Rihanna is your influences, and then kind of. I I do, I go more of the whole Alanis Morissette, Janis Joplin, Carole King type side because I was raised on classic rock music. Classic rock. Yeah, my dad's a musician. <laughs> nice. What does your dad do? My dad plays everything. My dad sings. And my dad can compose music. My dad, my dad's the shit. Woo! <laughs> Say that one more time for the for the for the out of the blocker audience. Your dad is the what? My dad is a composer. He's a musician. He plays drums, bass, guitar, piano, flute, everything. Um, he's just he's the shit. He sings. He does it all. <laughs> Damn, I feel a little, little, little salty right now. She he's just bragging about her dad. He's my biggest influence. And yeah. he's my biggest motivator. And honestly, my father is just—he dropped everything and, you know, put all of himself into me. And I think that's really awesome. Phoenix, let me ask you a question. You're 19. You're still young. I am. Getting into the industry is gonna be not only—I'm not gonna say it's gonna be hard, but it's gonna be challenging because you're gonna have a lot of bumpy roads down the line. How do you feel about, you know, young, pretty girls that go into the industry and get taken advantage of? Because that happens a lot. Um, Depending on what you mean by taken advantage of, you could say, like, physically or, like, you know, their self-worth. Because I'm going to go in, and if I get deals sent to me, you know, I'm not just going to jump at whatever's handed to me. Right. I'm just going to see, like, is it worth giving up myself? Because when you're given a deal with music, it's basically selling your soul. Right. You're having people control what you wear, what you do, what you eat, how you work out, where, what time you sleep, where you need to be at all times. And that's really stressful. And I'd rather just do it like I'm doing it now and take care of myself and deal with myself and not have any other people besides my father. Right. <laughs> tell me what to do, you know, and that's perfectly OK. Do you? Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to ask, do you plan on having that uh, father, daughter, management, artist relationship down the line in the um, future? It, it would be really, really cool. It's just that, you know, me and my father still need to get to that place where it's like this is management and right. this is being a father. 
there's a lot of people who grew up with their parents managing them, and it became like, I'm more of your manager than I am your parent. Right. Luckily, my dad's been more of a parent, parent. than he has been a manager. Exactly. So he knows how to handle both, and he knows how to talk to me from a business perspective and from a personal perspective, and I think that's really good. Do you think you can be able? Do you think you'll be able, able to handle success even at a young age? This I I'm I'm a very humble person with a very old soul. Right. I, um, Oof, that was a good one. If <laughs> if like if I get a lot of money, I'm going to use it to benefit other people. Um. Yeah, I might get a new phone, or you know, I might go get new clothes. Like I'll do simple things, but I'm not gonna go buy a Ferrari and right. go do dumb shit. Especially, I don't even have my driver's license yet. Like, what the fuck am I gonna do with a Ferrari? <laughs> <laughs> vroom vroom, That's all true. the way to jail. <laughs> get my Ferrari, repossessed. I'm cool with that. Oh man. Um. No, just it's just so so easy to get money, but it's also really easy to lose money. Right. If you don't invest it in the right things. So I think I'd rather invest in other people rather than invest in material. I like that. Now, um, recently we just had we had some very sad news about a YouTube star, um, Christina Grimmie. If yeah. you're familiar with her, she passed away. She got shot and killed at, uh, I think it was a meet and greet at one of her shows, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Um, how do you feel about, you know, situations like that when, you know, you're really big in the, you know, in the industry and then somebody just decides they want to take your life and their life? As well, like what, like what do you think about uh, situations like that? Would your dad be precautious of you, you know, going to shows on your own and stuff? My dad don't even like me leaving the house. <laughs> there you go. He, he'd be like, he'd be like, where are you going? What you doing? Who you gonna be with? What's your social security number? <laughs> he looking ass. Like, um, no. My thing is, don't make that many kind of enemies. Like, if you be humble at all times, like with your fame, because. People are going to be salty. People right. are going to be salty if you're doing good things for the world. Like, they're going to be salty because you're doing more good things than they're doing. Right. So, it's like, I don't know. She got shot for whatever reason, whatever motive the guy had. Like, he obviously had a really personal motive because he killed himself after Right, it. yeah. That's like, because he felt bad about it because, you know, he didn't want to sit in a jail cell for the rest of his life. So, he right. just killed himself. And that's really sad that, you know, she died. I, d I wasn't really familiar with her, but I watched a couple of her videos. A lot of my close friends were really into her, and it sucks. I mean, you know, rest in peace. But Yeah, my condolences, and, you know, obviously Phoenix's condolences go out to yeah, Christina Grimmie. And but her I family. I just wanted to get your take on that because, you know, obviously you're going to start YouTube, and you're a singer too. She was a singer. Um, you know, it's only the, it's only one way to go, and that's up, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm just saying, when with success comes temptation. and um, Of course temptation comes, but it's also like, like, my family's pretty religious, so it's, like, temptation with sin and all that kind of stuff. Like, right. you're always going to be tempted to do it. And, you know, I never, like, say that, you know, it's bad to sin because you got to sin in order to do good things because you got to mess up before you do the good things. Right, exactly. I got you. Because you're, you're going to fall to your lowest, and then, like you said, the only way is up. <laughs> That's only true. only way is up. So nah. to be tempted by things that money can cause, like greed or drugs even or any of that stuff. Like, I'm completely drug-free. I right. don't got to worry about none of that. You know, makeup, though, I might buy a lot. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's, that's my drug right there, makeup. But now I, getting <laughs> I got you. Now, getting back into your music, um, do you see yourself having longevity? Because I would, you know, hate to see you having one hit and that's it. Like, do you see yourself down the, like, down the road having, you know, Hits after hits. One hit would be great. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm I, like I'm, I'm grateful for one hit, but um, longevity definitely because um, not a lot of artists come from you know musical backgrounds. Right. They're just like, hey, I can sing, so I'm gonna go on YouTube and I'm gonna sing. No, there's a lot of understanding that you need to have behind it. You need to have knowledge of music of what you're doing, of how to compose, of how to work with the music, how to work with your um, band or, you know, production and all that stuff. It, it takes a village to make an artist. Exactly. It's like it takes a village to raise a child. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's going to take a lot, but you got to understand that. You can't just jump into it and be like, hey, I'm good. Whoopee. You got to go like, down the road. Like and what, you know, like, what is that? Like, um, yeah. What's her name? Christina Black or... or oh, that Friday chick yeah. who... Yeah. Rebecca Black. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah, I Rebecca forgot about Black. that. She, yeah, she was a one-hit wonder, and it wasn't even a good one-hit wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, that's crazy! It wasn't a one hit wonder. It was a one hit. I wonder why wow. she even put this out. <laughs> she was thirteen at the time when she made that song. For I real? think. I think so. Yeah. So she didn't really know nobody. She didn't. She had yes people in her group, so mm. they agreed, you know, for her to do it, and she did it, and her time was gone now. <laughs> um, I want to talk about your your book. Your your you know your um your writing. I guess being an author. Um, so that's another field too to get into. What made you want to do that? Like go that route. Um, Again, like, my mother passed away when I was 10, so ever since then, I've been writing, and I was in eighth grade, and my English teacher at the time, her name's Vernell Ball, she's, she was like, she kicked my butt, she was like, you're gonna be the best of the best, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna be the best of the best. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, that's <laughs> how, it, that's how and, you do um, it. All throughout high school, I was in, like, writer's clubs, and my junior year of high school, um, I had a teacher, her name is Stephanie Meyer. Shout not, out to not, the f- not the famous one. But I don't know who that is anyway, so <laughs> I'm going to give her a shout out. Oh, st- shout Anyways. out to Stephanie Meyer. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so you said you got into um, writing because of the lady who wrote Twilight, and her name is Stephanie. No, not her. My st- my, I had a teacher my oh. junior year at high school who was my English teacher. Her name is Stephanie Meyer, but she's not the famous one. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, my bad. Um, she introduced me to a very famous local um, rapper, artist, poet. His name is Merlin Hepworth. Okay. I don't know if you heard of him. And um, <laughs> and another poet named Catalyst, and they kicked my butt in workshops, and they pushed me to think beyond what I was thinking, nice. and that was really awesome. And we went to poetry slams, and I won awards, and that really motivated me. And I was like, "Hey, I'm pretty good." There you <laughs> so, go. So I was like, "Okay, yeah." And then my junior high school, I um, dropped out of high school. And wow. And I got really depressed. I didn't leave the house forever. And then I went back to school, caught everything up. And then my senior year of high school, I went to North, where I met so many amazing people. And that's when I started writing my novel, my first novel, Amnesia. And it's just been taken off from there. And I graduated on time. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. That's that Drake song. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's good though. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. And obviously, amnesia is pretty self-explanatory. But do you mind explaining to the audience what your whole, um, the whole purpose of that book was? For? Um, amnesia is not quite done yet. I, I'm about halfway through with the novel, and um, it's taking me a long time to write because I'm so busy. Right. But um, it's basically a murder mystery. Oh, okay. I might be uh, interested. <laughs> it's a girl who. Well, you just have to read it. I'll have it. Like I have links to it. I, I don't know it. about you guys, but that <laughs> sounds exciting right there. It's a murder mystery. Who doesn't like those? There we go. And um, obviously you sing, so of course I'm gonna have to put you on a spot real quick. I want to hear some vocals for my <laughs> Al the Blogger audience. I know y'all want to hear something too. You gotta hear some. Um, let's see, uh, Drake, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> If you want to uh, sing a hotline bling, Drake, I can uh, Drake. start you off. Do 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 do. You used like to, you used to beat. That's how it goes. Do, do, do. There you go. You used to call me on my. You used to, you used to. Yeah. <laughs> you used to call me on my cell phone late night when you need my love. I call me on my cell phone. Lay I when you need my love. And I know in that hotline bling that it could only mean one thing. Yeah, I know in that hotline bling that hey. it could only mean one thing. Ever, Ever since, since I, I left the city, city you. <laughs> you started living there and now I'm on. Glasses of champagne on, on the dance, dance floor. floor. How you going to forget the lyrics? I've never lyrics? seen before. I forgot. <laughs> you used to call me on my... Damn, we're getting a little carried away. My bad. <laughs> there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very um, proud for this moment. I have with, with me um, Phoenix Marie Haley. She's a author. She's a singer. She's a um, cosmetologist slash makeup artist. She just you know, dropped a nice track for you guys. Um, follow her on all social media. At, uh, yeah, Phoenix. so I got everything. So if you want to hit me on Facebook, Myron Julianne. If you want to hit me on Instagram, Phoenix Marie Haley. If you want to hit me on Twitter, PHX Marie Haley. And then if you want to hit me on Snap, Aqua Acapella. Um, 
Yeah, let's get it. And if you want to hit me on YouTube, youtube.com slash Phoenix Marie Haley. Let's get it. And, 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 and I'm stuttering as I say this because I say this so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash The Al Joseph Show. Your dream starts today. Today, today. Phoenix Marie Haley, <laughs> the wonderful, the beautiful, talented singer, Arthur, makeup artist, alpha blogger. The hottest journalist in Phoenix. I'm saying it. Yes, I'm saying it. Signing off. Thank you, guys. Peace. Adios. <laughs> and it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Hey, what's up, man? It's Out the Blogger. If you made it this far, you might as well subscribe. YouTube.com slash Out the Blogger. You know?